Roblox's tradition around the Easter season known as the Egg Hunt has lasted since 2008 and has become a staple event on the platform for over 12 years, with the first ever Egg Hunt being known as Egg Stravaganza. Player reception is generally positive, and it's an event that holds concurrent and holds a lot of memories for a lot of players alike, as they complete the event collecting all the eggs through a series of minigames to eventually achieve the Faberge Egg. Each year, Egg Hunt is themed and has changed and varied throughout the years, from switching to a format nicknamed Dev Hunt, which is a series of games that each host their own challenges last year in 2019. This year's event is the 2020 Egg Hunt, nicknamed Agents of Egg. The theme is that eggs were stolen from an Asian company, and it's your job as an agent to track where they were last located, and you can do so using your phone provided as gear. This year's Egg Hunt was met with a heavier amount of critique than last year as due to multiple factors. It's so frustrating to see an event diminish from the division of quality, QA's limited and naive response to the critique, and many, many other factors. This year's egg hunt seems very unfinished, unpolished from certain developers. You see, I say this because of the vision. While some games were extremely high quality, where others were much less, or waiting, or the same round every time, etc. In today's video, I'll be discussing my thoughts about Egg Hunt 2020 after collecting all 52 eggs, and especially how some of the developers handled the situation. Please note that this is not an attack on some of the developers. This is meant to critique. Do not send hate and only send constructive critique. And if my critique isn't taken, that's fine. Or if there's something you feel is incorrect, please feel free to correct me as I wish to improve myself. I've also consulted multiple developers for these questions to ensure that I am not getting a biased perspective on the topic. With that being said, here is the review on Acon 2020. My name is Nuke Alex and this is our Roblox game review series with our special being the Acon. Let's get started. Yo, what's up, Past Chain Nerd Squad, and welcome back to another video, with this one being the Egg Hunt Easter Special. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe for the latest Roblox drama, news, tips, and tricks, and more. Don't forget to turn on the bell so that way you never miss out on one of my videos. So, this video will be organized a bit different than usual. The points we will we be discussing in this video will vary from the usual critique, as I believe bugs are fixable, and although I will be mentioning them, Bugs are an issue constantly talked about in these critique videos, so I would like to offer different points to the table. This year's egg hunt was not bad after completing all of it, it rather almost hit the mark. Getting rid of the dev hunt feature is entirely unreasonable, as I've stated in past videos. Roblox is cutting budget, which again, that's their decision, and the egg hunts before 2019 are simply too expensive to make now. Although 5Team, the team that made great yolk tails, which is also known as the 2018 egg hunt, is having another project in the works. Dev huts can be great if utilized properly, which allows developers to showcase their works and dev huts have made me become a fan of so many great games that have finally been brought to light. In order to utilize next year's dev hunt properly, let's consider a list of factors that need to be improved, which include the inconsistency of quality, similar general tropes and games, and lastly, the developer response, as well as our community opinion. Let's get started with our first point. The inconsistency of quality in the 2020 egg hunt was very clear to see. I believe that some games chosen were of very poor quality, from unfinished products and glitches, a lower rating on the game, and uncreative game design in the game. Although this year had multiple simulators, games definitely shouldn't be based off the title. An example of a simulator that hit the nail on the bat especially was Ghost Simulator, with great UI design, a fun and challenging boss fight. Great job to that team. Some of the best games this year included Tower Defense Simulator, Zombie Strike, and Quill Lake, where some of these games innovated to check off multiple things that relate to the event a challenge at just the right level, and good bot design that made it possible for younger players to have it, but also for more experienced players to challenge themselves at the right place, gaining more rewards in the process and the egg itself. However, many of these games simply shouldn't have been chosen in the egg hunt. These games included very similar tropes, which I will also be discussing further in the next point, uncreative game design, and simply another version of a cookie clicker. These games included Roblox Inc., 
and my least favorite of the entire egg hunt egg simulator where you go around collecting eggs. This year's egg hunt QA should have spent better expectations of what is inquired and encourage game developers to think through the creative process to come up with an egg hunt event that number one relates to their game and number two relates to egg hunt. And what I believe would drastically change the egg hunt is one game that cannot have too similar of a trope. The vision and quality was very clear as of the games having the collect the egg trope, which was used way too much. This year I saw great effort and creativity, but expectations need to be set to a higher level for many developers under the simulator category. Some developers made it just to play their game over and over again for premium payouts, which is understandable as this year was paid in exposure, but this should not be entirely the focus of the egg hunt. It shouldn't be possible that a game as great as Hero Havoc as we compared in the intro, which spent a lot of effort even going as so far to continue the mission, is placed with the same event of Egg Simulator, which is lazy, uninspired, flashy, and the entire creative process of that developer was to do quests in game that no way whatsoever related to theming. This was a consistent problem for me, as I play games usually for a storyline. Expectations should be set to a medium quality, but not as low as this. Games which had the, oh yeah, do quests in our game that do not relate to the egg hunt and only just collect mini eggs, which give you the larger egg, aka the hat as a prize, need to be moderated instead of QA just going, like every game, as you saw in Dieter Play's tweet. This is the main reason why the thumbnail rated the egg hunt a 6 out of 10, because so many things could have hit the mark, but instead, lazy, uncreative process made around 13 out of the 52 eggs very unenjoyable to get and very long to get. Secondly, many games had it simply by chance. An example was Epic Minigames, where there are over 100 minigames in game and you just so have happened to have waited to the Juggernaut game to pass along. And even so, even only two players could achieve it from the egg jump, causing waiting, and waiting, and waiting. As developer, it's your job to keep your players stimulated. Most games felt like a hassle and in total, hours spent on some, you simply just wait until your chances were high enough. Wolf for Another, also known as a Woo, was a fantastic game worth the play, but unfortunately you either had to 1. Be the Wolf, 2. Get the Egg, which was only 1 spawned on a massive map, or 3. Hide in just the right spot, which was very rare. Murder had the same as well, where it's just constant waiting to be a spectator, or to be with the guy with your egg on the head. Or the murderer as otherwise, there is no possible way to get the egg. Lastly, the difficulty levels on most games should be adjusted for all levels, having some way to appeal to the most. Some simply weren't as enjoyable as others, but that's understandable. Many were, however. Most of these included the farm, blah blah blah, or just grind in the game until you got the egg. So TLDR, division in quality was caused by three factors. Number one, low expectations. Number two, bad creative process slash by chance. And number three, low stimulation. Let's move on to our next point. Quality Assurance's critique was not the best to this situation. Before the game release, the game's release dates were confusing and organized and most of all not completed. Some games updated way too early and some on the day, making it so that way you could get around 6 eggs early. However, many did not work even with being updated, so I do not see why it was updated earlier than expected. One including the Zombie Rush egg, using literally the exact same event from last year. This should not be allowed QA testing, and would be restricted using the previous things mentioned above, which once you collected 5 chicken, absolutely nothing happened until a day later. Nobody's perfect, however, and I can understand this, but soft releasing games should not happen and feels confusing especially to newer players and makes themes seem really messy. Many YouTubers critique this, and the response from multiple was. Here's a thread from Mario Dylan in response to Creecraft. Hey there, you do realize that all things are like this right now because you are playing the soft launch version of the event, meaning you are playing an incomplete product. Yet, not much has changed. Things should not be soft reset at all, and in my opinion, this left a sour taste to me at the start. When the event was fully released, all of the content was there, and yes, some of it was really good, but also just as not as much was right, and some didn't sit with me as well. This should not be a response from a QA tester to a big YouTuber. Yes, developers put effort in the game, 
But no, soft releasing things is not a good idea because it's confusing and makes the event seem less like an event and more of something that you can do on your own terms way too much. No statement was given or anything. Things like this should be pre-planned so everyone does it but a similar but not the same time so that way the website doesn't crash. I asked my developer friends this question and one said you should test for bugs, but most said you shouldn't because it's unprofessional. Other QA I realize are defensive on their product and that's absolutely okay to be. But I feel as instead of getting so defensive, which I will not name names, the only reason it should be okay to respond is because there is no dev hunt. I agree people were being unreasonable as only so much budget is giving and it's decreasing every year and they work with the best with what they have. But things like this is free to be improved to not be so hostile towards critique in game. On to the next point. To get a look at the community's perspective on the 2020 egg hunt, let's look at some tweets and some comments from some videos. For reference, I'll be using Kaneko Kitten's video, and for tweets, I will just be searching up egg hunt 2020. I love Roblox. I am a mobile player. I got every egg in egg hunt 2020, but two eggs I can't get because you can't play the Wild West on mobile. Also, you can't play Ultimate Driving or Westover Islands on mobile. I don't have a computer. Hashtag Roblox Egg Hunt 2020. I just got every single egg in Egg Hunt 2020. It was honestly terrible, lol. Only like 4 or 5 egg quests were actually enjoyable. I hope Roblox learns from this and goes back to making their own egg hunts in 2021. Egg Hunt 2020 was better in my opinion because the quests were more challenging and many of the prizes were more compelling because their appearance or combo potential. My final thoughts on Egg Hunt 2020 is that the eggs this year were extremely well modeled, and some of the games made use of creative tropes. It definitely had great games in the bunch. However, I rated a 6 out of 10, because many unfortunately missed the mark, and it stains the general conscientious of the event for me. This event had a lot of people working on it, but I believe it missed the mark due to factors I stated above. After completing the entire event myself, I feel 75% of the eggs are worth it. But some games aren't, such as time travel, where glitches made it hard to beat. I do realize that there was effort put in the development aspects this year, but the creativity could use a bit of spark on others' end. Egg Hunt 2020 wasn't a mess, but it was rather inconsistent for me. Some games hit the nail perfectly and some games pooped on a toilet. Egg Simulator was a prime example, where half of the quest wanted you to waste time in game instead of being themed. What angered me the most was theming. The theming of the games was very poor in some of them, including no hub, so there was no possible way to organize except for fan hubs, which was a major blackter that blew it for me. Last year's event I rated 7 out of 10. Egg Hunt 2020's games nailed scripting, but lacked creativity or organization, which makes the event seem very paradoxical in opinion for me. The lack of theming just made it to seem to get cool hats, and the organization didn't make it seem much more like an event at all, and rather just something to get cool hats with. The eggs were the best part of the event, and QA's response left a very sour taste but didn't ruin the event itself. The event isn't trash. I want to make that very clear as it will seem I am coming off as negative. Rather, think of me as a more disappointed player that wanted more theming as that's where I often focus in my game reviews. I cannot stress this enough, but the inconsistency from so many developers made the experience so tedious and unenjoyable, along with the same experience of collect the eggs by walking near them. I never mean to be mean, I just feel frustrated. I know this event can set much higher expectations for itself even as a dev hunt, and I know we can take this greater with the critique gathered by so many players invested in the game as myself. I leave my final rating as a 6 out of 10. I wish you all a safe and happy Easter with your families and your loved ones. Thank you for watching my video. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, yeah. Yeah.